what we're looking for. Why is using that in the, on the middle? If anyone can tell me why? Could be one option. Yes, that's the main thing. Right? Because if you let close the guy, there's a big chance for me on the bottom to submit him. And, uh, and then another thing is it's very important. Usually if you're on top, you can always try to grab inside the knee. The other one is locked, elbows in. So he doesn't even need that knee back. Put it in the floor, elbows in. I can't do one bar, I can't close my guard, I can't do anything. But not all the time he's gonna get that grip. Okay? If I'm on the bottom, I'm gonna try to look to get the grip outside. That's good for me. So basically I would say grab inside <coughs> and inside, that's good for needles. Okay? Outside is good for me. So if he's got that grip, he can't grab that get crack that grip back, I have a big chance to close the guard. Or I can do the triangle, arm bar, everything comes here. To get enough time to get his hand back, he's going to use that inside. So I can't close the guard there. Okay? So we're going to try to use that knee. Okay? So here, if he's working that knee on the floor, you can work easy. Same thing, just to stand up. Everything you're going to do on stand up here, you're usually going to do on this as well. So just work on that position here. One of the options to avoid, as soon as the guy is standing up to pass the guard, he's going to try to get away off my hooks. Okay? So he can pass very easily there. Two ways, two basic ways to keep him close to you. One is just like you've done before, keeping that lapel, try to move back. And you keep moving up from this. Okay? I still control. Another option is, can't reach there, so we just up the guard and push there, and for the second one, got a base control. Grab the heel, try to move back in. Yeah. Okay? So that's why the, the reason I'm using the hand here, plus I can attack there. What you're gonna do is just from here, from the base control, we're gonna aim for the heel. Now I know he's not gonna get away, try to get away. Well, okay. You're gonna try to use that grip to do what you call the Dela Hibo sweep, a very base one, okay? So same side that you grab the arm, you're gonna kick his leg. Okay, it's a very important thing to do, go back there. So kick the leg there. Now you're gonna use, you have the support there to move your hip up. Use the leg, it's your foot on his leg, and move your hip high as you can. How's your knee? Your knee okay. So make sure you move your hip over his knee and hook there in the back. Many people just come straight away here. Okay? It's okay to do it, but you don't give enough pressure. That's what you want. So when you kick, hip up, go high as you can on his knee. Now the right foot, you're going to transfer for his knee. You're going to pull the arm, kick that knee, extend both of your knees there, just give a big pressure on his knee. Boom. Boom. Okay, got the sweep done. Now, how are we going to finish? Okay, bend your knees back, and you're going to try to put my knee between his legs. Okay? And shut down there. Try to take advantage. Usually, when you get here, after three seconds, you get a two points. Okay? So make sure you get your point first to start to move forward. Now, if you got a good points, you know you're winning the match, try another thing. What is the next step? Pass the guard. Open the arm wide there, and get your knee under his arm feet. Okay? So keep the pressure there. Go to the mount straight away. Okay? So, just once again, just a little sequence there.